Virgos, Virgos, Virgos. Well, hello, my Virgos. Hello, Virgos. All right, retreat, retreat. It is time to disconnect from the world. And why? It's because I see you are going to be finding yourself in a wonderful relationship. You're going to be understanding that this is something I've been waiting for for a long time. So um, here you can see why you're going to be retreating is that you recognize that you are you have found someone and this is the one for you okay um a lot yes definitely so the, the the sun is here showing you that hey i've been looking for this person all my life i finally found them happiness and joy you are working on this relationship you're leaving the rest of the world behind you all right gemini's uh virgos why i say gemini's virgos some sort of a this honest play is going to be coming out where um, the seven of swords in reverse, some sort of a dishonesty. It has to do with a fire sign man. They're going to be recognizing what a fire sign man have done. They have found out the working of a fire sign man and a young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn. Whatever is happening, a lot of you are going to be finding out some sort of a deceptive play. The energy of the four of swords is releasing um, some sort of a, uh, it's, it, it, it's some sort of a intuitive feelings, but you could not put um, the, you know, put the positive because you don't see, you are not there. But now it's coming to light, and they're going to be recognizing. You Virgos are going to be recognizing something that is coming to light, and because you find out a deceptive play from a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person and from some sort of an Aries Lee or Sagittarius man and a businessman, you had a feeling that, you know, some sort of an affair, your wife was having an affair, your husband was having an affair. You couldn't put the, the puzzle together. Now it is going to be very real coming in this timeline. It's going to be very real because you are going to be having information to show up that there was some sort of a crazy deceptive play um, from your partner. So whether your partner is a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, maybe it's you guys, you men, you women, you Virgos, that some sort of information come out about you Virgo men, okay? Um, it can be men or women between the age of 18 and 45, some sort of an information. And I see whatever the information is, um, cause it's the four of swords is about, um, inner conflicts, but also communication. It's also, you know, having a, a feelings that something wasn't right. And then you're going to, it's going to be happening that it comes out and you're going to be saying, wow, thank you. I can move on with my life. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I can move on now with my life. I have now recognized that I had, you know, my, my intuition was good. I have really recognized what was plain. So I see um, they're going to be finding out because they're going to be recognizing some horrible play from a Leo man. Whoever this Leo man is and whatever is transpiring, a lot of you Virgos are going to be recognizing and finding out some sort of information about a Leo man. Whoever this Leo man is or find out some information about someone that is in a high position that have created a whole lot of problem and they're going to be recognizing who this man is and what has happened and transpired. So I see truth is going to be revealed and they're going to be recognizing um, how some of you that was married to a businessman, some sort of uh, deceptiveness. It's as if you know that your husband is a businessman. He has been cheating. He has been seeing multiple people. His money is going to other people and now you have a uh, the proof to show that uh, your husband or your partner have been creating and have multiple um, people they were seeing. Okay, so it's as, it's as if you women or housewife, that sort of a thing, and you recognize, hey, my husband is always saying about financial situation, but he has another person. And it's as if you're going to be finding out, you're going to be going someplace and, you know, see his car or driving by someplace, see his car. And when you look through the window, you're going to be recognizing 
um, that your husband have a long long-term relationship as as long as your marriage and you know this is is as if you felt you have felt it years many years many many years you have felt this and it's as if you know you were saying to yourself no i you know it's just it's maybe hormones or no and, and you were trying to not to face it and now i see is a time when you are going to be facing it and recognizing that uh, yes this person um i've been ha in an affair with someone else as long as i've been married to this person and i see you're going to be recognizing this and i see that some of you virgos is going to be saying you know something um he gotta go let him go live with this person and you're going to be asking for a divorce and i see some of your just hey, listen um if that is the case you love this person go be with this person um so i see that you virgos are going to be just letting it go you virgos are going to be saying to yourself all right um uh, you know it is what it is um i'm letting it go now it's as if some of you virgo have not didn't, didn't want to see the truth didn't want to see the truth about your ex-husband or your husband you never wanted to see the truth. And I see you're going to be just taking the bull bites horn this month and recognize, hey, this man has not, uh, he had not wished me any good. Whoever this businessman is, he has not wished me any good. And I see a lot of you were fighting to get some money from this person, but it's not going to be happening. Whoever this person is, um, this is a businessman, an ex-husband. He had cheated a lot of people out of money. And you're fighting, you were fighting to get some extra money in order to move on. But this man has moved on with someone else. And this man is not going to be giving you um, this extra money. So I see um, a lot of you, um, you know, if you're cross watching to see what your husband is doing and your husband is a Virgo, you're going to be recognizing the, you know, the intuition that you have that it was true. Whatever intuitions you have, you're going to be recognizing that it was true because now you're going to be recognizing and the truth is going to be, um, you know, setting a lot of you free and, um, you know, recognizing that my intuition, I need to listen to my intuition because I was right. A lot of you Virgo men is going to be successfully overcoming some sort of an unfair game that was played. So whether you're a man or a woman, and you're going to be really overcoming and really recognizing um, some sort of an unfair game that was played. Um, truth is now coming out and people are recognizing. So a lot of you, um, you know, young men and women between the age of 18 and 45, you're going to be finding out that your partner has not been fair to you or your husband has not been fair to you. And this information is definitely going to be coming out, especially um, people who are business people, people who have their business and that sort of a thing, they're going to be now recognizing that. Um, you know, a whole lot of you are going to be realizing that uh, I will no longer work on this marriage or relationship if you're in a relationship with a fire sign person. I see that you're going to be recognizing, you know, ever since I, you know, before I, got married to this person or before I got in this relationship with this person, I knew that uh, I was not the only one and you're going to be accepting it now. Um, and some of you are going to be recognizing that this person, whoever this person is and whatever this person have done, have created so much problem, so much issue in your life, in your world. And you're going to be recognizing, yes, it's time for me to end this situation and move on. Um, the situation is not serving me anymore. So you Virgos are going to be understanding that uh, I got to walk away and I got to leave uh, this situation behind. I got to end it now. And I see you Virgo men are thinking, yeah, I'm ending it, but I'm not going to be giving them any more money. And I think, uh, you know, men, I, I can understand that you have been uh, the breadwinner in this situation, but yet still... In order to, you know, balance out some things, sometimes it's good to, you know, you know, recognize that you have children with this person 
um, no matter what it is. So I see a lot of you Virgos, your soul chakra, um, you're going to be working on your soul chakra. And that could be one of the reasons why some of you are just going to be re re um, retreating is that you're working on your soul ch chakra by taking back the power that you were given out to other people. Okay. So it is about you really recognizing I have been given my powers out to a lot of people. I need to understand. I need to recognize that. I need to take back my power. Um, you know, your solar chakra is uh, where you let people, you know, run your life and uh, domineer you in whatever form. Um, yeah, if you're open for domineer, domineering, but it is a situation where you're going to be recognizing, okay, I recognize what is going on and I'm aware of what is going on. And I recognize that it is time for me to choose to be totally aware that I have been um, domineered by another person. And I see that you're going to be taking back your life. So a lot of you women are going to be recognizing this. And a lot of you women are going to be understanding, hey, you know, whatever the issue, the situation is, you're going to be recognizing. I've been fooling myself about this person that they will change, that they um, are going to be, you know, understanding that life uh, um, can happen where a blink of an eye and you're out and this person might see the light coming in and you have been hoping, hoping for years and you're going to be recognizing, no, this person will not change. This person is who they are and you're going to be, you know, recognizing I no need to work no more. I don't need to work on this situation. A lot of you Virgos, um, you know, you're holding on to your money. And I see, you know, rethink the situation. Because if you have been married to a woman for many years and have kids, you need to rethink the situation. I see you're trying to make sure that your wife does not come out of a marriage um, you know, financial stability, but, you know, go back and think about the days that you started. Um, some of you, your wife was the one who sent you, uh, you know, to study and uh, stayed home with the kids. you got to recognize these sort of a thing because this is like karma that you're creating that is going to be affecting your own kids. So I see choices coming out where some sort of a information they're going to be recognizing, some sort of a information um, that someone has used, uh, has not been honest and they're going to be recognizing and finding out the person who have not been honest and the person who have created, uh, um, you know, you know, controlled you for a very long time. And I see information is going to be coming out and light is going to be shedding that some of you were controlled and domineer or were you the one who was controlling and domineering? So that is it. But I see you guys are ending um, this Valentine's and this energy of the love of the month, ending it in a very positive way where I see that some of you are going to be rekindling some sort of a relationship, some sort of a affair, rekindling with another person and is going to be creating some sort of a positive transition. So um, a whole lot of communication, a whole lot of laughter, a whole lot of people are going to be dating going back rekindling with people taking time off and it's going to be you know if you're on the lockdown you're going to be really focusing on this person and it's going to be recognizing you know maybe i should um you know try this route and see how it will work um nothing try nothing done and i see a lot of you are trying to work on your marriage work on your relationships uh, and that is going to be good the people that you're going to be dealing with is an Aries, an Aries man or a businessman. Some of you, um, an Aries man or a businessman that, uh, or a man that was financially um, uh, supporting you. Um, you're going to be recognizing that this person also have a younger uh, model than you now. And you're recognizing why money was a little bit squeezy is because he has a new up model okay then um we see that you're going to be dealing with uh, a lot of you people between the age of 18 and 45 is going to be rekindling and meeting someone new and that is good a lot of you that was in a relationship with a businessman you're going to be recognizing 
um, a lot of truths, a lot of information is coming out about this businessman. And you're going to be seeing the truth who this man is. This man is a businessman or a high professional person that they have been not working on the marriage and the relationship is because uh, um, they have something new going on. Um, so a lot of you are going to be recognizing some sort of a whoever is in a relationship with a Libran, you're going to be recognizing um, something about this Libran. Some sort of information is going to be coming in to some of you about a Libran that a Libran has cheated on you. So you Taurus is, is going to be recognizing that a Libran has been um, working you from both ends and um, as, uh, not only cheated on you, but also was, uh, you know, taking your money. Okay, you're going to be recognizing that the Libran is a gold digger. So, sorry, but it came out. All right, I got to go. If you want to see the extended of this reading, follow me to the other side. If not, I am saying namaste until next time.